Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about Patrick Sertan in a Patrick Sertan film session. And we're going to just be taking a deep dive into his game and, and determining what he can bring to the table. Before we get started though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. That would really help my channel grow. With that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. So, I think a great thing that Patrick Sertan does um, is he's a lockdown corner. That's what he was at Alabama, one of the best corners in the country, if not the best corner in the country for a little bit. Uh, but overall, I think this is a good play that really showcases his use of his length. Um, and you can just see how long he is. So, right here, uh, you can see him on the outside, right here, matched up one-on-one -on -one with this receiver. And you can see just, there's not too much separation. A um, little bit of hand, hand fighting or whatever, it, we're going to ignore that. But overall, you can see as this ball is being thrown to the outside, this ball is coming and being thrown to the outside, this receiver is running under it. There's not too much separation. So once again, you can just see he's sticky. He's a little bit stickier in main coverage. Um, but it, this is a great play by Patrick Sertan that really showcases his length. This ball, he plays this absolutely perfectly, by the way. This ball is being thrown to the outside corner. Um, the, the receiver is going to just continue to run under it. But look at Patrick Sertan jump it, jump the receiver here, and then use his, his arm showcasing his length to block that ball to the ground. This is just an absolutely fantastic job. He, you just see, you just see he's just longer. He's just longer. Not only does he undercut the receiver here, but he simply, he's, he's a few steps behind him, maybe, maybe like a half a step behind him, but he makes up with that, he makes up with that, you know, he, he doesn't have elite speed. I'll, I'll be honest here. He doesn't have elite speed. So he makes up with that, that, that speed with that great length and that ability to just block that ball away and just make a play on this football, even though, you know, he he's in a really good spot. He's in a good, you know, he's, he's got good technique here right on the hip, and he simply just undercuts and uses his length to, to swat the ball away. So really good job here by Patrick Sertan. Another thing I like about Patrick Sertan is his ability to drive on the ball. You're going to see him right here. Um, and this is actually going to be a big play that he ends up having a pick six on. So he's going to be, once again, sticky main coverage. But you can see him, the ball is going to be thrown a little bit shallow, okay? Um, it's not going to be quite to where it needs to be. And simply, Sertan is here at the time this ball is being thrown, and he's just going to undercut this football. And his drive on the football is something, that el something else that's really good. You can just see him drive to the football, be physical, and be aggressive on the football, and simply just go take it in for a score. So that's another thing that I really like from Patrick Sertan, really just using his physical tools to drive onto the ball, be aggressive, be physical, go out there and get it with his good ball skills, and then take it in for a touchdown. So really good play here by Patrick Sertan, really just showing his ability to drive on the football. And that's something we're going to see a little bit more on as this film session progresses, his ability to be just downhill right he goes downhill from zero to 60 really quickly um, and that makes him a special athlete too another thing that Patrick Sertan can do is his athleticism allows him to make big plays and big breakups downfield you're gonna see him here one-on-one -on -one, uh, at the bottom of your screen and although he's not super fast he doesn't have that quick elite speed uh, to uh, elite down downfield speed but something he does have is he has the length and he has the athleticism to make plays that he needs to downfield. So here, this, this receiver is kind of just going to run a, a, a go route to the end zone and Sertan's going to have to go with him. And as, you know, this ball is thrown up here by the quarterback, just see, once again, look at the look at the positioning by Sertan. Really good positioning on that inside hip. He's undercut the receiver. And now, as that ball is thrown over the top, he's able to be in a great spot right in the middle of that, that receiver uh, to just go up there and use his hand, strong hand there, to just break away that football right he's not going after a pick here rather he's just being a disruptor and his ability to be a disruptor based off of his good technique that's the number one thing with Sertan this guy's got really good technique and his technique allows him to stay with receivers um that's something that you know really helps him he's got really solid technique um and that technique paired with his athletic ability um and his ability to just be you know stingy uh in defense uh allows him to make these really nice plays downfield even though he doesn't have that elite speed down the field and I know I talked about this a little bit in my mock drafts before the draft, where I talked about Patrick Sertan almost as a Jalen Ramsey kind of physicality. He kind of reminds me of Jalen Ramsey in the way that he plays physically. He plays with a physical nature. Um, and although he doesn't quite have the Jalen Ramsey speed um, and the ability deeper downfield, he kind of reminds me of that athlete that Jalen Ramsey is really using his physical skill sets uh, to go downhill and just be a physical uh, corner. So here you're going to see uh, Patrick Sertan there at the bottom of, of, of the screen. 
And this is going to be a simple screen pass. It's really nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. But you can see he recognizes this play really, really quickly. As this ball goes to goes to the running back here, look at Sertin. He's already reading this. He's already reading the situation. And he's already moving towards, you know, where the ball is going. And he's such a downhill guy. Look at the physical nature. You know, simply makes that tackle. And he's just going downhill. He's just he goes downhill, just puts his head down, makes the tackle that needs to make, and that's why that's why I say he reminds me of Jalen Ramsey because he's not afraid to get you know he's not afraid to get you know uh, playing that physical game and, and he succeeds in that physical game. He's a physical corner, downhill tackler, and he's a good tackler, and, and that's why I think he reminds me of Jalen Ramsey a little bit uh, just because of that physical nature and he brings he brings the the power when he tackles, um, wraps him up, doesn't allow any extra yardage. Um, and, and holds him to a negative play. So overall, really nice play here by Sertan, showing that, yeah, he can be a good pass protector too. Like, I mean, he's good in pass coverage, really uses his, you know, skill sets and, 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 and physical abilities to really be a good shutdown corner. But also, this guy can get after the football, and he's a knack to go downhill, find the football, and go in with the power tackle. So once again, it's going to be another situation where we're going to see Sertan uh, just be, just go downhill, just be a downhill tackler, go downhill, and make a big play. Right here, he's going to be one on one lineup on the outside here, but that's not really what we have to worry about. What we have to worry about is it's another similar play. It's it's to, it's it's just a little screen pass to the running back. Uh, it's it's just a little you know check down here, and once again, it's Sertan coming out of his route, uh, come coming out of his coverage and going downhill onto the on 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 onto the onto the pass catcher. And look, he's just physical, makes the tackle. And that's what I love about Patrick Sertan. He's a good tackler because he's powerful and he's physical and he's not afraid to get dirty here. Um, and he just makes a really good tackle. And that ability to go downhill is something that I think is going to really help him in the NFL where you've got to be physical. You can't shy away from contact. And Sertan is definitely a corner that does not shy away from contact. So with that said, I think Patrick Sertan has a real chance to be a great corner in the NFL for a variety of reasons. One, the main things uh, that he does really well is he uses his technique um, to set him up. And that technique um, is it helps him stay with wide receivers. Um, he's also, he's, he's just an athletic guy. I mean, he's just an athletic corner. Um, and those athletic traits are able to make him allow to, uh, use his length and use his, uh, quickness and his speed and his power, uh, to make pass breakups and to stay with receivers. But it's really the technique mixed with that length too, that allows him to undercut receivers, uh, get his hands on footballs. He's another thing that I love about him is he's just downhill running. He runs downhill. He gets the football in a downhill manner. He drives to the football. Um, he plants his, his, his foot and goes, and he accelerates towards the football, not afraid of contact, really powerful and physical corner. Um, so that's why, I, that's why I really think Patrick Sertain is going to really fit in, in the NFL, uh, just because he's, he's a physical guy. He's powerful. Um, and I think that's what he can bring to the NFL. The only concern with him is his speed. Doesn't really have that elite speed down the field, but I think that he has other traits that make up for that. One, technique. Technique definitely makes up for that uh, because when you've got the technique, uh, you're not going to be three or four steps behind. Yeah, you might be a little bit behind, but you can rely on your technique to get you there and the good positioning that he possesses. Um, and, you know, he doesn't have bad speed. He doesn't have bad speed. He probably just has average speed for a corner. Uh, but overall, I just really like what Patrick Sertan's game is. He's he's a complete corner, um, and I think that that you know ability to really you know be a downhill tackler, be a really good tackler with power uh, and with drive, and his ability to drive to the football. But more importantly, his just overall good technique is why I think he could be a really polished corner in the NFL. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.